Would you like to generate more real estate leads on Facebook? Well, I just recently wrote a longer article called the Facebook Marketing Strategy Guide for real estate and it's in today's video I will discuss some of the methods I mentioned in this article how to generate real estate leads on Facebook. But to be clear, I am not talking about to do just some random posting on Facebook pages or Facebook groups because the organic reach of Facebook unfortunately day by day gets, gets lower and it actually doesn't make sense anymore to do just normal posting on, 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 on pages on your, on your Facebook page for example. So I am talking about Facebook ads. Why Facebook ads? Well, Facebook can target your potential customers in three ways and it has a lot of different targeting options. You can target them by interests, by behaviors. Behaviors means just people ready, to, for example, people ready to move or looking to buy a house, a home. You can target by demographics, for example, kids or no kids, age groups, job title, different generations, if they own or if they, if they rent. But what we will need first before we, got, if, before we get into, the, into editing or setting up a Facebook ads campaign is you want to generate or create a marketing angle. What is a marketing angle? Well, an angle is an, the overaching story you use when promoting your offer. For example, if a dev developer does a marketing campaign and he just says our buildings are nice. I can say already and it's very likely that the success rate won't be that high and a better overaching story for that would be for example our buildings save 50% of energy costs compared to the national average. So the overaching story here is or and also this includes also the benefits but also the unique selling, selling proposition is energy costs. So you will save energy costs. But how do you find a marketing angle? First, obviously you want to choose your offer, your real estate offer. Which real estate offer would you like to promote or advertise? This can, depending on your niche, this can be selling duplex, ho duplex houses or buying, in, in the case of a real estate investor, buying distressed properties. The next thing is you want to do to prepare or to find the angle actually is to research your target audience, your demographic. This, you find out what are the typical genders there, the, the age, are there some related current events happening in the world that you can use, for example holidays. Overall you want to put yourself in their shoes. The next step is to brainstorm storm ideas. So these ideas come actually based on the steps you did before. If you do enough research and uh, think about your offer, think about your demographic, the ideas will come. In the context of distressed property owners, for example, you might find out that many of the distressed property owners need to take sleeping pills because they can't stop thinking about getting rid of their home and that that's robbing them sleep they can't they can't get a good night's sleep anymore so the next thing is if you for, let's stay with the example of the distressed property owner you can uh, go with this angle and collecting benefits based on the pain he has or she has so the contrast to that the solution to that would be there's a happy person just waking up from bed after a good night's sleep. You could create creatives accordingly to what you have found as, as ideas for your marketing angle. So now that you have the marketing angle prepared, you can get to, to prepare your Facebook marketing campaign and you want to get your, your com com campaign objectives right. And there are many different campaign objectives possible but only three make sense when generating real estate leads actually. There is number one, lead generation, lead generation objectives. There you can capture real estate leads directly on Facebook or you can, overall you can, 
you can generate and capture leads directly on the Facebook platform. Then there is traffic, the traffic objective here, the, the, your ads are displayed to people who are likely to leave Facebook and visit your website or landing page. And number three, uh, this, these are messaging, messages, the objectives are messages and here people are targeted that are very likely to engage with you on the Facebook Messenger. By the way, in this context also chatbots can come in handy and where you can automate some of those, those leads coming in so you can already interact with them automatically by a by chatbot, by a Messenger chatbot. The next thing you want to get right is the ads targeting. So this is slightly more important than the campaign objectives. Here in, in terms of targeting you can, you can target different custom audiences. This means like you have maybe you have already an email list that you can use on Facebook and target those people again on Facebook. You can target by locations age, gender, detailed targeting, for example, income groups. This is possible mainly in the United States where you can target different income groups in different percentiles, then different languages you can target, and connections. Connections means that this is, this is basically helpful if you had past engagements with your Facebook page, apps or events. And then here you can, in this case, you can retarget this specific audience again. To be not too too abstract here, I will give you also some ideas, some targeting ideas for real estate, some specific target targeting ideas for real estate. You could target potential buyers with a buying a house interest. There is a specific interest in Facebook, which is called buying a house. Then you can indirectly targeting potential buyers. Um, that liked different real estate related pages or platforms such as Realtor.com, Trulia or Silo. And the third one, third idea is you can target directly real estate investors. This is also a specific targeting group you can use should you market to real estate investors. The next thing is your ad actually. So now comes into play your work you did with your marketing angle. If you have this prepared, you can now decide which kind of ad you use. You can use single image ads, carousel ads, lead ads, video ads, etc. And the ad copy and the media you are going to use. In terms of ads, the combination of the right images or videos obviously the angle and of course the copy makes or breaks an ad in terms of conversions how many uh, how many facebook visitors you will convert into potential customers and each ad can actually be tested in a different ad set the last preparation you will need to do to to set up your facebook ads campaign is your real estate facebook ads campaign is the ad placement and it basically predefines on which devices your Facebook ads will be displayed and here you can choose between desktop and mobile you can choose between face the Facebook news feed Instagram feed and the, and the Facebook right column and many many more Facebook usually recommends you to check all the options but this is not necessarily the necessarily the, the, the best thing to start with. It will help Facebook obviously to make more money, but not necessarily you who is starting out with a Facebook ads campaign and you at the beginning you still want to to have less variables possible to analyze which of your ads is working well and which which one is, is not working well. And you will also need much more budget um, ad spend you, you will have a higher ad spend if you if you check all those boxes and uh, because at the beginning when you test you it, it really depends on how many of those uh, placements you select so if you uncheck the, the displaying option on desktop 
you will already be able to reduce your ad spend significantly because those ads displayed on mobile are still a little bit cheaper than those on desktop so you will be able to test those ads in, in with a much lower budget here and of course once you have a successful campaign on mobile you can branch out also to other devices but I would just start with mobile first because also much more people each day more people are using their smartphones and mobile phones so it kind of makes sense so to recap and some key takeaways first you want to create you want to think about your marketing angle then you want to define your campaign objectives your ads targeting your ad itself using what you what you created in your marketing angle then the, the ad placement and there is much much more to it than just this short video so that's why I also invite you to read my in-depth article about that on my blog hackingrealestatemarketing.com and well that's it for today's video thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up if you like this subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified once I have a new video out okay thanks bye bye